fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now wholesome Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial for the CFW modded, jailbroken, PS3, however you want to call it, I'm going to show you how to update your CFW from like an older version to the latest version, which at the time of this video recording is CFW 4.70. Today's example, I'm upgrading from CFW 4.66 to CFW 4.70. So here we see the game section is clearly jailbroken. So let's go back to settings here. Let's go to system settings, scroll down to my system information and show you that yes, I am 4.66. Awesome. So let's go back and you take a look at the bottom of the corner of this video. I'll show you how to prepare your USB thumb drive. Basically, you create a folder called PS3, update, and then copy your CFW, rename it as ps 3 updatepup Put that in that folder and you're good to go. And insert the USB thumb drive in the rightmost USB port like I've shown in this PS3 console. So what we're going to do is go to System Update, press X. We're going to go to Update via Storage Media, press X. It's scanning, scanning, scanning. It says version 4.70, USB device, press X on OK. And it's going to go ahead and do its thing. So here we have the user agreement. All right. Let's see if I can go through this. I got to go all the way down. Actually, you could just skip that. Press accept. Um, okay, here's the updates. Okay. Um, start. And here we go. So it's going to go ahead and start the update process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record the process, but I might edit it or just fast forward as appropriate for this video. And then at the end, I'll show you proof that, yeah, we have successfully updated to 4.70 CFW. This is actually the Habib version CFW and I'll show you that yes I still have the ability to install the package files now at the time of this recording multi-man is not updated to 4.70 but I know that you can use Iris man or um, game sonic manager for example to play your your games through your USB hard drive or internal hard drive as well so that will be for a later tutorial if needed okay on this screen press the PS button to use the controller and it's also checking for update data, so if it prompts you, just go ahead and do what it's asking for. Now it's in process of installing. Do not turn off the system. After install operation has completed, the system will automatically restart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section of the video. All right, the process is complete. So let's go ahead and let's double check this. And just for, so you guys know, this is the very first time I'm doing this. So I'm just assuming that it works out fine, and I'm sure it will. So we go to the game section. We go down. Yes, I can install package files. It's still jailbroken, guys. That's awesome. And then we go to settings here. Let's go to um, system settings. Then we'll scroll down. System information, 4.70. Awesome. And show you proof that, yes, this still works. Let's go ahead and let's run, like, Multiman, for example. Um, it probably won't run my games because it's not updated to 4.70. And I got to plug in my internal, all right, sorry, external hard drive. But like I said, at the time of this video recording, Iris Man works. See, here we go. See, and Iris Man works and also uh, Game Sonic Manager or Sonic Game Manager, actually. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.